All right, guys, so I wanted to open up this video with a quick sample from the front camera on the TCL10L. Uh, this footage actually looks pretty good in the viewfinder, so uh, I'm sure it's definitely going to look good to you guys. Uh, but I'll give you a quick sample of the rear camera, and then I'll get, out to, I'll get into a 72-hour uh, recap with this device. All right, guys, so uh, here's the rear camera for the phone. Hopefully it looks as good as the front. Hopefully it looks better uh, than the front. Uh, but this is just another quick sample. A little bit of an echo in here because, again, I don't have the soundproofing in here yet. Uh, but this is the quality that you get from the TCL10's rear camera for video. All right, guys. How you guys doing? Uh, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So the TCL10L is a, an affordable device that TCL is dropping. Uh, and it, in fact, is very affordable. It's supposed to come in at 250 bucks. I was going to crank the brightness all the way up here. It's supposed to come in at 250 bucks when it does release at the recording of this video. It has not released yet. So I've been kind of testing a few things. I've been testing the battery. And this is not no no, uh, no means a full review. I'll give you that later because, you know, I'll have the device for quite some time. So, uh, But this is a, a three-day recap. And the device is actually doing extremely well. So... Recently, I've been taking some photos and I, I wanted to intro the video with the cameras because some people were concerned about the cameras, uh, but these cameras are actually really solid. Uh, and I just tested up here uh, in the office real briefly. Uh, I'll do another test downstairs, like a full camera review like I always do. I'll do that in a more well-lit daylight uh, situation. But for now, this is just artificial lighting late in the evening, me wanting to knock this uh, three-day recap out for you. So how's the battery life been? The battery life has been fantastic. This phone can definitely go a full day. Um, it is, let me see, I took some screenshots um of on the battery let's see here this is the last screenshot that i took uh one day four hours six hours of screen on time with 16 percent left and i ended up basically getting um i can grab about hmm, maybe six and a half to seven hours of screen on time with this 4000 milliamp hour battery uh it's it's impressive uh to say the least so you know the the phone itself um it's it's just a really uh it's a powerful phone for what it is, and it performs well. Uh, but the battery life, I honestly was expecting, but it's still kind of breaking in. So, uh, But for the phone to be able to go over a day uh, on the first couple of cycles, I'm pretty much getting about 28 to 30 hours or a little bit more than that on every charge, which is actually really good. But the screen on time isn't as much as I anticipated. So I know you're probably thinking, well, Jay, you just said six and a half, maybe seven hours screen on time. Yeah, I did. But with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and ultimately just pretty much a stock device, I thought it would be a little bit better, but maybe you don't need to break in a little bit more because it, it, it's only been maybe four days or so. Uh, and so this will get better with time, I would assume. Uh, it's, it'll still learn some more of my behaviors, you know, with the phone and, and, and work itself out. So with that being said, for those that are concerned about battery, it might sound like I'm being really hard on the battery, but I'm really now I'm just being realistic and, and honest with you guys. Everybody's battery is going to be different. You, you'll get longer battery than me or you'll get shorter battery than me. So um, several several people out there on YouTube in, in the tech world got this phone. So I'm wanting to know how their battery life is. Uh, but my battery life, that battery life is actually really, really solid to me for what it is, especially for this price point. I know it'll never measure up to the Motorola uh, Moto G Power. With 16 hours of screen on time, you know, and lasting for three days, it won't do that. But at the same time, his brother, this phone's brother, the Moto, the, the Moto, the uh, TCL 10 Pro, should have longer battery life because it has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and also has an AMOLED display. And I can't wait to show you that display. Speaking of displays, so I was watching Netflix on here, and I posted. I didn't want to post on YouTube because I got a strike for that last time, so I put it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Mr. J O Williams, uh, and you'll see this phone's screen is top of the line. And you know, it's it's easy for me to say, oh hey, you know, let me give you a different wallpaper to just uh, you know just kind of look at something. Um, let's see here. Let's go. To, it came with that one by default. Uh, let's just go to this one real quick. Um, it's such a beautiful display. You're going to have to see it in person. I mean, it's, it's hard to sometimes for phones to really get the just of how nice they are. Like that's a beautiful moving wallpaper. Uh, it's hard for phones to get the just of how good they really are. 
uh, and, unless you see them in person. And and to me, this is one of those phones. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful phone. I don't know if you can see the screen. There's little lines going through the screen. It's pretty cool. Uh, but um, this is one of the most beautiful displays you can get on a smartphone in this price range. I kid you not. And it also beats out or looks better than some higher price devices uh, that have quote unquote flagship internals. So, you know, this 6.53 inch 1080p display uh, is just incredible, man. I set my button over here to be able to turn off the video enhancements and turn them back on. So, you know, I like it. NXT vision, it just really enhances video. Uh, and it's just, it's super beautiful to be able to experience uh, media consumption on this device. Now, while it doesn't have stereo speakers, some people really frown on that, but I got to tell you, the speaker is actually really, really loud. It's an, it's an impressive speaker. So don't let that deter you. I mean, this phone right here is definitely offering a little bit more than other phones in this price range. It really is. And again, when it comes to performance, this form, this phone performs, it's got six gigs of Ram and Snapdragon 665, but the bigger brother has the Snapdragon 675 coming in with a six gigs of Ram as well so look for that video too uh but for now this phone is impressive to say the least with the case on it i've been rocking it without the case but i put the case on for this video so if you're wondering it makes that camera bump flush but again i'll reference the pro model of this the camera bump is flush to begin with and it's going to have a matte back on there which is going to be so sweet i will be using that one as a daily too uh but overall though i think three days with this device is way more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be bad, but at the same time, I was like not expecting this type of quality. So I did use GPS on it. Believe it or not, the GPS is flawless. I was trying to find a new location for something, and I was like, what am I? I said, oh, man, let me use my phone. This is an opportunity for me to test the GPS. And the GPS locked on the first go around, stayed locked, uh, and took me all across town uh, to my location. So I was really impressed with that. It didn't heat up very much, even though it was like 95 degrees outside, but I did have the air conditioner on in the car. But, you know, when the phone's using the chip like that and the screen's on and I had it on full brightness, it gets a little warm, but not too bad at, at all. And uh, the GPS just works flawless. And that is something. Now, phone calls, I use this over AT&T and T-Mobile. And um, I didn't try Verizon. Maybe I should try my Verizon SIM. Uh, but um, I guess I'll come back to you on that one. Uh, but I did uh, use it and it has full LTE. Phone calls, no problems. It, it sounds clear. No one even knew that I was using a different phone. It's, you know, the microphone sounds good. The speaker sounds good. Everything is just there. So um, just a three-day recap for you, man. I mean, battery, screen. I'm extremely impressed with this screen, man. I, I just can't tell you how beautiful this thing is. It is just nice. It's just beautiful. And I think you're going to be hard-pressed to say that this screen is not better than several other screens on the market. So just keep that in mind. Just a brief, quick three-day update for you guys. When this phone drops, I think it drops in the middle of May or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the final software, I believe, uh, because this is a retail box. It got a software update, by the way, also. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it's hitting hard, man. I'm, I'm surprised. This is a direct competitor for the Moto G Power, you know, and any other phone that's in that price range, the Pixel devices. all Anything in this 299 250 price range under 300 bucks this phone is a great competitor for that and you know people are like man i can't believe tcl is reaching out in phones this phone is impressive man this phone is impressive and the screen is going to blow you away when you see it in person it really is I, I just don't know how to tell you that the fingerprint reader is fast enough these cameras are really good I took a, some video just now, like I said at the beginning of the video, and the photos, I just took a couple of them because I've been really running around. I've been I've been on the move a lot. I have a lot of things going on in my personal life, but I'm still using the devices. So uh, I'll do a full video review on the cameras for you guys soon. Uh, but um, I think whenever I do give a full review of this device, I'm going to recommend it for sure. So for right now, a three-day recap, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this device, man, for real. It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.